I did a little cut, cut, a snippity snip. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday. This means that this video is gonna be kind of random. It's my first time posting on a Wednesday. I decided to do a DIY. Recently, me and my boyfriend moved to Arizona, as some of you might know, and we kind of went through the closet, and there was a bunch of jeans that he didn't want anymore, and I was like, well, you don't have any shorts, and it's literally 120 degrees outside, so why don't I make them into shorts? So for today, it's just gonna be a quick DIY video. Do it yourself. It's gonna be super easy on how to make shorts out of your like old jeans or whatever. Specifically in this video, I'm gonna be making boy shorts, but I mean, if you're a girl and you wanna sport the long version, you know then you can do that. These are for my boyfriend, they aren't for me. So I have two pairs of jeans right here that I'll be cutting today and I'm gonna teach you guys. I'm not really teaching, I'm just gonna show you because it's super easy on how to make cute little shorts like this. Well, they're not little, but my boyfriend literally wears them every single day. And they don't look like I cut them. Like they actually look like he went to the store and bought them. And these are nice jeans too, they're from I'm from Hollister. I don't even know if Hollister's still around. But I mean, back in the day, you know, when we were fifth graders, Hollister was the shit. So I can just imagine how much he paid for these. This isn't my first time cutting things. I actually cut the shirt that I'm wearing too. I just found this at Goodwill. It was like $3. It was a big t-shirt. And when I say big, like it was big, like XXXL. Like the sleeves were down to here. It was like a v-neck. And then when I put it on, it came down to like my knees. So this shirt was fucking huge. But I like the material, it was a super soft. And I thought it was cute colors and a cute print. So as you can see kind of. So this is what it looks like now. But yeah, $3 and it's super cute now. Wasn't that cute before. If you wanna cut your jeans or if you wanna cut something up, my advice to you is find something that's super old, like you haven't literally worn it in years, or go to the store, like the thrift shop or Goodwill, and find something for super cheap, like under $5, and then cut it. I wouldn't cut anything that, you know, you're going out and buying and spending $20 on because why would you buy something for $20 and then cut it up? Today I'm just gonna be focusing on boy jean shorts. This literally goes the same thing if you want to make them for girls, make them booty shorts. Girl, do your thing. I don't expect boys to follow this video and cut them up, but for the girlfriends out there that can cut up your man's jeans, this is how you do it. So the only three things that you really need are a pen. You're gonna use your pen just to mark. And then obviously scissors, not a shitty pair. Like you need scissors. They came with like my knife set. They're super sharp, so it makes it so much easier. If you're using shitty scissors, with this material, like cotton, it's different because it's super easy to cut through. But especially for je the jean material, like it's not gonna work out. And then the third thing you need is the jeans. So I'm gonna start with this pair, just a black pair of jeans from PacSun. Probably a good like $45, but he told me to cut them. All right, so what you wanna do, you wanna have a flat surface one because you need to lay out perfectly flat just so when you're cutting, you're not cutting uneven or you're not fucking anything up. So I've already cut a pair, obviously that I showed you guys. I'm gonna use these to measure with this. What you can do is you can either have your man try them on and kind of mark where he says he wants them, or you can take another pair of shorts and kind of measure from there. All right, so I just kind of line them up so I can kind of draw a little dash on where I wanna cut. So 
So I'm gonna cut right here. I made two dashes just so I can kind of follow a straight line and not cut upward or downward. Cause then you're gonna be looking at Goofy. Well, if you're the girlfriend making this for your boo, he's gonna be looking Goofy. So what I did is I cut halfway through from one side and then started on the other side and cut halfway through um, just so I get that straight line across. If it's not perfect, it's totally fine because I'll kind of show you how you can fix that and adjust that because you don't want just a straight cut and there's no like personality I would say to it. Just like these, like these weren't fringed before because when I had them put them on without the fringe, I was like, throw those away. But then I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I can fix this. And then that's when I fringed them and it looked 100% better. The goal is not to make it look like you just cut it up on your living room floor. <laughs> you wanna make sure that each side is even. I think each side being even is more important than getting a straight cut across because how are you about to be looking with uneven pants? then they definitely gonna know that you cut them by yourself. Got some cute little black jean shorts. So in order to get not such a blunt cut across the bottom, uh, I think that kind of looks cheesy and you can definitely tell that you cut them by yourself especially if you don't cut straight or there's some like jagged lines in there because you don't know how to cut it didn't make it through first grade. My trick is to make it fringy. That would kind of give it its finished feel. So you take one of the sides and if you look very closely, there's gonna be a bunch of like loose little threads that are gonna begin to stick up. One side is not gonna match the other. And if you look at this side, these threads already started to come up. They're sticking out that way, so you want to go against them. Um, and you just find them and pull them, scratch them, do whatever. Um, like I said, the strings are kind of going in this direction. So I'm going to pull them the opposite way. Look at all those strings that are coming up. finished if you don't want to do the fringe you don't need to but chances are after you wash it those threads will loosen and it'll begin to fringe by itself how easy it was I literally cut two pairs of jeans in under 10 minutes and made them into shorts so after washing it one to two times your jean shorts should look like this with the fringe at the bottom you could see how long some of them are and that looks like it's pretty much from the store <laughs> shorts are definitely perfect for the occasion hot ass weather yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you could like comment and subscribe that would help me so much um if you have any video suggestions also leave them down below and i'll see what i can do now go cut up your boyfriend's jeans if you don't have anything better to do i'll see you guys friday